Alright guys, welcome back for part two of our three-part series, Think Back to the Future, Three Ninjas, Star Wars all rolled into one. Today, we are talking about spinal mechanics for midline stability. Essentially, all the movements that you're going to do in CrossFit require strength and stability proximally from your midline, and we want to make sure that you're doing that optimally and not exposing yourself to uh, potential losses of strength, losses of stability in the midline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce Greg and we're going to show you how to find what we call pelvic neutral and incorporate that into a couple of basic movements. Go. All right, so we're here to talk about the pelvis and what we call pelvic neutral. What I want you to do is I want you to think of the pelvis as the foundation of your spine, the foundation of your house. If your foundation is tilted, the rest of the house goes to shit. So we want the foundation of Greg's spine to be straight up and down. What we're looking at is not tucked too far back. Other way. There we go and not tuck too far forward. And so the difference between those two is, think of Greg peeing on the ceiling, is tucked back, peeing on the floor, is tucked forward. In either of these two positions, he is sacrificing strength and stability from his midline, which is gonna play a role in his ability to press overhead, squat, do any kind of core-based movements. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to find the midpoint between those two. You're just gonna rock back and forth between peeing on the floor, peeing on the ceiling, find the midpoints. From this position, you should be stable. So what I'm going to have Greg do is I'm going to have him hold his arms straight out in front of him from this neutral position, and I'm just going to try to press his arms down. From this position, Greg is optimally recruiting all of his core muscles just by this neutral up and down position. If we get Greg to tilt in any way, either anteriorly, he's going to lose it, or posteriorly, he's going to lose it. Just by changing that position, he has either positively or negatively affected his proximal core stability. So to wrap up, the theme for this month, keep the foundation of your spine straight up and down. Not too far forward, not too far back, and you're going to kill it. Not your back. You're going to kill it in your...